Hi, we're here today with Anna and Ava, and we're going to see how Ava could be your perfect pet. Welcome to Pick This Pet. So, which rescue are you with? I'm with United Yorkie Rescue. We are a nationwide organization with 131 active members. What breed is Ava? Ava is a Yorkie Brussels mix. Uh, she tends to look more Brussels, uh, but there's a little bit of Yorkie in there. How old is Ava? Ava's two and a half and weighs nine pounds. Does she have any medical issues? Yes, she does. She has a condition called immune-mediated hemolytic anemia, or IMHA for short. Um, this is a condition where her immune system, her white blood cells, attacked her red blood cells before they could fully mature, causing her to be anemic. During the first week we had her, she required a blood transfusion, and after the diagnosis was confirmed, she was on prednisone and azithropine, which is a uh, chemotherapy drug. And she is currently in remission and off all medications and doing great. Someone wants to adopt this dog, what would they need to know? They would need to know that because Ava has this condition, IMHA, she can no longer be vaccinated because it could trigger a relapse. Um, so what is going to happen in June when her vaccinations are no longer good, she will require a, an adult home, a, um, a fenced yard because she won't have any protection. She can't go to doggy parks, doggy daycare, the groomers, or for even for walks in the neighborhood because she won't be protected. She has to be in a, a home with a fenced yard. And if there is another dog in the household already, that's okay as long as that dog is fully vetted, shots, everything complete and maintained. Is this dog good with children and dogs or cats? She's good with a dog that is already in the home. Uh, not so good with dogs out in the open. She will bark and, uh, at them. Um, but if once she gets to know the dog that's already in the home, she's their best buddies. I have my own Yorkie and they play all the time. Uh, cats, she'll bark at them. I don't know, I've not seen her up close with them. Um, uh, well, and children, she needs to be in an adult only home, 15 and up. Uh, little children wouldn't understand her needs and uh, what uh, what it takes to you know be an owner of a small dog because they could have a tendency you know not to be so nice to them if they mistreat them which they don't mean to but you know, we don't want that to happen. What are, what are her current and the future medical needs? Well, right now she's not on any medication. Um, like I said, we treated her with prednisone and azithropine, uh, neither of which is a very expensive uh, treatment. Um, and the only thing that she's going to require in the future will be a minimum of two yearly visits to the vet uh, that uh, to check her blood work. Normal dogs would go, you know, once once a year. But in addition to that, if any dog healthy or or not would have to go on a more frequent basis if they become ill the same thing would happen to uh, to Ava is there any other important information we should know about this dog well Ava is spayed she's had her teeth cleaned uh, she is microchipped she's housebroken she sleeps in a crate at night uh, and she is a lap dog when she's not playing with her toys or my personal dog, Leia, she is on my lap as much as she can be on my lap. Uh, I can hold her like a baby. Um, I talk to her and she knows exactly what I'm saying. She's a, a super little girl and uh, she really deserves a, a very good home. What type of home would Ava need? 
Haven needs to be in an adult-only home, uh, preferably with someone who is retired or works from home, because we don't want her left alone for long periods of time. She deserves companionship, like all dogs. Where could they find more information about Ava? If you go to our website, it's unitedyorkierescue.org. Her entire bio is there from the day we got her, which was back in June. Uh, and it's updated monthly. And on our website is a, a link for an application to adopt her. You can find more information about us at pickthispet.com or on our Facebook page, Pick This Pet. Thank you for watching this episode of Pick This Pet, and we hope you find your perfect pet.